So you've got a phony world out there, and you're going to have as much trouble as you have phoniness. You understand? All your television shows are followed by commercials, which are all BS. All your commercials are annoying, and everything you get on the soap opera is always the same story. A guy in love with a girl, and he shoots with somebody else. It's always the same story. Novels, everything. But you watch that because you're conditioned to it. You don't know anything else. You learn the language. You walk over to a person. You say, How's the, how are you? How's the family? He says, my family, my little boy needs an operation. Costs $4,000. Can you lend it to me? I said, no. Then why do you ask me how I am? <laughs> <laughs> Our language is so phony that the future will care about people. You won't have to go to a hospital and wait. It'll scan you as you walk in. You wear a ring, and that brings all your records forth. And the doctor says, where do you live? How old are you? Are there any sickness in the family? All that crap. All the records come out the minute you walk in. There's no sitting around. Next, next. So they don't know how to run medicine today. They don't know how to run industry today. They don't know how to run government today. So you're electing a bunch of stupid people that are causing this system to collapse. It's happening all over the world, not just America. All the world systems are collapsing. And if you bail them out, it'll collapse again. Because if Chevy failed, which they did fail as a corporation, and we bailed them out, if they don't draw a new electric car better than Toyota, it won't sell. So you don't even know what the hell you bailed them out for. In other words, you don't back somebody says, I have an idea, and you say, what is your idea? So I don't know. Nobody's going to back you. So the world you live in is so stupid, it's hard to believe that people don't understand. I stopped a lot of soldiers. I said, why are you fighting? Well, I believe in the good old USA. I believe I'm fighting for freedom. I said, do you own the car? And I said, no, not yet. Do you pay your way through school? No, my dad is. I said, what are you fighting for? You know, especially black people, they have nothing to fight for. Because we live in a moneyless society now. We haven't got any money. So they don't understand. We use money to put up these buildings. We use money to make videotapes. They don't do it for nothing. We go to a tape company or a book publisher. We say, will you publish our books? They say, yeah, for $40,000. So I had to sell my home to get my books published. That's why we sell them. We still live in a monetary system. So in between the systems, there's going to be a lot of trouble. It's not going to be easy for you to talk to other people unless you remember what I'm talking about. To a better extent, I wish you could make recordings. Does that record voice also? Good. So if you make recordings of what I'm saying, it's easier for people to understand. So when I say good, bad, right, wrong, everybody knows what right and wrong is. That's all BS too. Let me tell you something that you may or may not know. In ancient Rome, they used to feed Christians to lions. How many of you knew that? Because they knew they were brought up to believe in many different gods the God of war, the God of love, the God of peace. They had all kinds of gods. And when the Christians came to town, that there's only one God. And they got mad as hell at them, because they were brought up differently. So they put all these Christians in an arena, and they starved the lions for a week, so they had nothing to eat. Then they turned the Christians loose, the lions loose. Well, it was a little difficult for the lions, because the people were dressed, so they took the clothing off the people later so you get a better show. <laughs> so the whole family used to come Saturday and Sunday to see Christians fed the lions. And the kids would say, Daddy, can I come next week to see Christians fed the lions? And Daddy would say, if you behave yourself. <laughs> Is the Daddy nuts? No. That was normal to that culture. It's normal for us to go to prize fights and watch two guys bang the hell out of each other because we say, hey, it was a great fight. We watch a football game. It's the same story over and over again. A guy running with a ball, another guy tackling him. Same thing, nothing new. That is to keep your attention off everything else. 